hope you're all okay. Welcome back to Vlogmas week two. It's Tuesday today. Didn't do anything yesterday because, if I'm quite honest, let me go and put this over here. Got the cats in the background because I don't want to go out in the snow. Um, so, yeah, so I didn't vlog at all yesterday. Do you know what? I had one of those days. I don't know if, of, well, I think it's pretty normal. But do you know when you just have those days where you just feel disgusting? Like, you just hate how you look, like you just get really down about yourself and you just don't want to be on camera, you don't want to do it. And I think especially because of my job, like it's so easy to compare yourself to other girls and you know, be like, oh, they're so pretty and I'm ugly and I don't know. It was one of those days and I've got the cat coming because he knows that I've got a treat waiting for him. But yeah, I had one of those days yesterday and honestly I just, I got myself in such a mess with it and I was like so down, I just, my hair wasn't going right, I felt like crap and I hate them days. So anyway, I got out of the house with it, like to pick myself back up, feeling positive today, feeling better, trying to get into that like, that like mental headspace where you're like positive vibes and oh my god, bear, please. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my cat just jumped up there. Honestly, they're begging for this treat. So, anyway, everyone was asking to see my cats in my last vlog. So, I really wanted to show you them because I love my little cats. I don't know if anyone else is cat lovers out there, but I've got two cats. They are half Persian. You wouldn't think one's half Persian, would you, Bear Bear? Bless. I think because basically there was like a just a, a normal cat, a standard cat, and then there was like a Persian cat. Um, so Bear looks like the normal cat and then Wolfie has definitely got some like Persian genes. Um, so yeah, I decided to get two just simply because when I actually went to get my cat, I was originally getting Wolfie and when I was there, like Bear was not sold yet and he was on his, well she sorry, keep saying he, she was like on her own and Wolfie and Bear was like laying together at the time and I was like I can't separate them, I really can't so I decided to get both of you, didn't I? So yeah, let me show you my cats. Um, sorry about the messy room again. You'll learn that it's not that I'm a messy person because I do genuinely like a tidy room, but like when I'm filming and everything like that, it just tends to be a bit of a mess. And they've been on my bed all morning, so I didn't want to move them to be my bed. So I'm gonna show you my cat. Bear, it's a really dark, gone really dark here. Come on, you can get on my bed. This is Wolfie. So let's get you two on the bed. Right, so this is Wolf, so this is the one that's more like Persian looking, as you can see. Wolfie! So he's like grey and black, he's so adorable. Then this is Bear Bear, and he's got a half face. So this is the girl, just going to focus. So this is the girl cat, and then this is the boy. Um, right, I've got a treat for them, so... Do you want half? Here you go. There you go, they always take their food away. Wolfie! Honestly, these two are eating food. Like, Wolfie's so scared to eat food around Bear because Bear just takes it away from him. He's got it. Have you got yours? <laughs> oh, I love my little boo so much. So, yeah, those are my cats. And look, he's, like, just looking to make sure that... He's not going to grab it. I haven't put any eyelashes on today. Do you know when you just want a day without eyelashes on? Like, I don't know. I just felt like I needed a day without my eyelashes on today. And also, I do need to take a trip to Primark to stock up on more because I've actually ran out anyway. So, yeah, that's the story with that. So, if my eyes look a little bit bare and naked, that is why. I'm going to show you an exciting package I just got from, I think it's Vichy. So, let me just show you. This come through the door this morning. And like I said, I think the brand is called Vichy because I think they are, like, French. Um, anyway, dear Laura, please find and close a selection of our Derma Blend range in clothes. I hope you like the products. Please let me know if you need any other shades. Best wishes. Oh, so nice. So, I've got this really nice little box, actually. And a box full of goodies. So we have got, so this is the Derma Blend Setting Powder, so they've gave me one of those, what shade is that in? I think it's like nude or something. Also gave me a Derma Blend Cover Matte, um, is this a compact foundation I believe? So yeah, then I've also got some V-Shade Derma Blends foundation, three different shades, and I've also got this Mineral Plumping Daily Booster, which sounds very interesting. So I can't wait to try these out. They look amazing. Thank you so much. Honestly, I feel so, so blessed when I get, like, lovely, like, packages like this. Honestly, it just 
it still blows my mind away that I get to send stuff like. You need to go out. You can't just stay in all day, can you, Mr. Boo? Look at you. Hey? You gonna go out and play? <laughs> Look at Bear. Bear's, I think Bear's falling asleep. <laughs> I think she's tired. And Wolfie's just like sitting there with you. Look how black your face looks. It's going really dark. I also forgot to show you these beautiful flowers that I got. How pretty are these flowers? Honestly, I really love like the range of colours and the mix of flowers in this like bunch. So, so pretty. I think they was actually from Sainsbury's. I got obviously brought them. Um, but yeah, look how nice they look on my little setup. So yeah, I'm going to film now guys. So I will catch you all in a bit. And probably might take you to Primark with me today because I'm going to go to Foss Park, I think. So yeah, see ya. Another day, another black outfit. Oh, I'm so cold today, guys. Statement boots. Honestly, these boots can just make any plain, boring outfit look amazing. Um, yeah, just my Miss Pat bag, which has broken, which I'm so sad about. It did have a um, circle thing, but it's fell off, so it's really annoyed me. But anyway, I can still use it. I've done my coat up, and I'm actually wearing it today because I'm that cold. This is just the aviator jacket from H&M. Also one very, very similar, actually identical from Pretty Little Thing, which you can actually get 30% off using my discount code, Laura GM30. <laughs> Just a little plug there. Um, not that I make any money because I really don't make any money out of you using my discount code, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know about my discount code. Now, while I'm on the subject of my discount code, if you do see anything on Pretty Little Thing, then like I said, you can get 30% off, which is such a good discount, and it would really, really help me out if you do use my code. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, I don't actually earn money from you using my discount code. Like, I don't earn money per order with a discount code or anything like that it's all it is is there is an incentive as you may have noticed there are other gals with these codes and stuff so all it is is the um i don't know what it is is it the like influencer who drives the most sales or something with their code there's like an incentive that's literally all it is um so yeah that's probably why you see everyone plugging their codes so yeah if you do use it it would mean the world to me because i never win anything so, yeah anyway we're gonna go now because i'm gonna go primer Yay, yay, yay. I'm so excited to go Primark. Love Primark. And it's really cold. I want to get some gloves and some wintry things. So let's go. Guys, I'm not even joking. I literally think it's about minus seven today. It is so freezing. This is my car, by the way. I thought I showed you this in my last footage, but when I went to edit, the footage wasn't there. And then you see me talk in my car saying how much I was happy about getting the Mini Cooper. So, oh my God, it's so icy. And I've got ridiculously stupid shoes on. Um, yeah, let's get in the car, because it's cold. Oh, my car is a mess. We're in. We are in. I can't move, I'm so cold. Let's put it on. Oh, I can't move. Why am I so... Oh, oh my god, let's turn the heating up. It's so cold, girls. I'm freezing. Honestly, I'm so so cold. Today's Tuesday, and this is blowing up cold air for some reason. So yeah, today's Tuesday, um, like I said, going prime or whatever. Tomorrow I am getting new teeth. Like new teeth, not actual new teeth like i'm not having my teeth taken out and having new ones put in i'm having composite veneers which i've already said like a million times i'm so so excited but i'm not excited about the fact that i've got a drive to manchester but well my appointment's at nine i live in leicester normally it takes about two and a half hours i think to drive to manchester um so yeah i'm gonna probably have to leave at like six because i want to go to mcdonald's and get one of their porridges in the morning because they're so delicious with the jam <sighs> Oh my god, I'm dreaming about porridge already. Okay, I'm gonna go now and start rambling. So let's go to Primark. Hey everyone, so I have just arrived at Foss Park. I'm gonna go in Primark now and get some stuff, hopefully. Let's see what they've got. Um, yeah, I've got my sunglasses on because um, it was really sunny. So luckily I had these in my car, so I've just popped them on. I'm gonna obviously take them off. I'm not gonna like walk around the shops um, with sunglasses on because I'm not one of those people. But like I said, it was so sunny. Do you know like when it's winter and it's really, really sunny outside and it literally is so blinded, it's so dangerous. So I always like to keep a pair of sunglasses is in my car these are actually from they're from a brand called mv mt and um 
they do watches and sunglasses and they are such good quality they're really nice so definitely check them out i'll leave them in well i'll leave the link in the description bar below they come in a beautiful case as well and they're actually really really good quality sunglasses so yeah i'll leave that for you to check out but yeah i'm gonna go prime out now so let's go and see what they've got so hope you're all okay back in my car now we have got a big bag of Primark goodies. Um, I managed to find quite a few bits actually as well. I say a few bits, I got a pair of black trousers, a pair of like um, faux leather ones that I wanted. Oh my God, they're an absolute bargain, five pound. I couldn't believe it. And they're so nice as well. Um, I also got a, it is a tripod stand, literally four pound. I was gonna spend like, how much was I gonna spend on one of these? I think it was like, 10 or 12 pound and literally four pound from primark and you can also you also get a little connector thing i don't actually know where i was put it where you can actually use it for your phone as well so that's really cool four pound i can't believe it um yeah anyway you'll have to watch my haul to see what i got i got some really nice bits um oh, i can't wait i also just picked up some food for now because i'm so hungry and oh my god where are my crisps from these peckish rice crackers tangy barbecue flavor if you have never tried these go and try them they are amazing i believe you get them normally like in the gluten-free aisle in like asda or they're normally in the gluten-free aisle for some reason because obviously they must be gluten free yeah they're gluten free so that's why they're put there but even if you obviously don't have gluten allergies these are amazing like they're just so nice they're like obviously a healthier version of a packet of crisps because the fat content's only 2.4 grams and it's 100 well just over 100 calories for a pack but these taste amazing with like hummus they wouldn't have them all the time but occasionally i've had these with hummus and oh my god they're so good and this jacket's gone really big let me just push the jacket down feel all like flustered and <laughs> flustered and hot and this jacket just seems all really i don't know i don't know what's going on with the jacket sort the hair out but anyway i'm gonna eat these and i also got these i've never had these before but i just seen it said one of my five a day on and well i've not had my five a day yet so smashing strawberries should we have a look what they look like oh whoa okay these look strange. That's supposed to be a strawberry. Definitely taste of strawberry though. I feel like these aren't natural ingredients, you know what I mean? Oh, Christmas time! Last Christmas. Does so anyone else like Christmas as much as I do? Okay. Turn it down. Okay, I better go now. I should just sit in the car park a bit fast. You know, having a little chat to you guys, having a little rave. I've got my tripod, like my tripod is legit on its stand. People are walking past my car, looking at me like, what is she doing? <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's go. Hey everyone, so I hope you're all okay. Welcome back to my really vlogmas. It is, what is the day today? I don't even know. It's a Wednesday, what's the date? Why does this never tell me? Wednesday the 13th of December today. It is literally five past six. I've been up since just before half five. And it is teeth day today. I'm literally so excited. So I'm driving to Manchester this morning. Oh, gonna be a long drive. I hate driving to Manchester. I always feel like I either get lost or there's diversions or there's roadworks or something happens when I drive to Manchester. Last time I drove to Manchester, um, my oil, I wanted, well, stupid me, didn't check my oil before I went. And this car literally drinks oil because it's a sport. And anyway, I'm on the way back and it started flashing, it had no oil. Well, I've never even opened the bonnet before. I know that sounds so stupid, but I normally just let the males do it. <laughs> um, so I'm literally in Manchester, hadn't even left yet, and then I had to go and sort my oil out because I knew it was serious. I thought, Laura, you can't drive all the way back to Leicester with no oil. So I had to go to the like petrol station, find out what my oil was. I had to Google how to open the bonnet and everything. I did it though, like, I managed to do it. So now I know how to put oil in a car. Um, so tired so before i start out my little journey i just picked up a oh it's so simple porridge do you know what i don't even know like if they add water to these or what but do they add water to these 
but these are so good you know like these ones they so, taste so creamy like do you know normally when you just add these water like the water to the porridges they taste they're all right like they're not too bad you know if you're in like a rush or whatever they're not they're not too bad but they never normally taste like really nice and i feel like these mcdonald's ones taste so good third exit on today's 607 okay i've set it up i think it is stanley street i just had that in my head so i'm gonna go with that hot honey it's too hot all right so i don't know if i'm gonna vlog when i'm at the dentist to be honest with you but i'm so excited guys take one last look at my old teeth bye everyone so i hope you're all okay and welcome back to my weekly vlog it is thursday today i didn't vlog after my teeth yesterday i just literally after i had them done i just really wanted to get back home um because it took me four hours to drive to manchester from leicester in the morning on wednesday well yesterday so yeah it was quite exhausting to be honest with you i can't believe it took me four hours but it was like mad traffic i think it was because obviously it was snowing on monday and tuesday so i think people might have delayed traveling and like was traveling on wednesday so yeah four hours it took me i was supposed to be there for nine o'clock for my appointment and i didn't actually get there until half nine there is so much stuff on my bed right now she just perching on the edge of my bed right now because I have been sent so much stuff and I've been trying to film today. I've only actually got one video filmed because I've been doing various other bits and bobs like emails and stuff throughout the day and yeah, it's just took so long. Anyway, I wanted to tune back in with you guys and let you know how my teeth went. Honestly, I am absolutely in love. Hands down, like the best thing I ever did. I have always been a bit insecure about my teeth. Like, you know, I didn't have the worst teeth in the world but I didn't like how the front two crossed over and, um, yeah, they sort of like went a little bit jaggedy, if you get what I mean, a bit steppy. So that's why I wanted them done. This is how they look like. He had the top set done. Because right when I was there, he was just like, oh, like, I think most people just have the top set done. I think people do have the bottom set done as well. But he was like, the top set will go over your bottom, so you won't really need the bottoms doing. But like, I feel now, like I want the bottoms doing as well. But like you say, my, with my bite, they do actually go over the bottom, so I don't think it is too bad. But yeah, honestly, so, so happy. I was there for about half nine, half ten, half eleven, half twelve. Three hours, I think it took in total. Um, honestly, didn't hurt at all. Didn't experience any pain. Just long, really. That was all it was. It, You know, I didn't feel any pain or anything. It was honestly just like, just you hear like a little bit of, not even drilling. It's just like, I don't, I don't even know. Just, you just hear a few noises and like, I can't describe it, but literally, no pain, so smooth, um, and yeah, the only thing was, it was just a bit long, but other than that, I can bear with that, the nice tea, I've just had to shove my hair, but you can see all my buns, like it's all pulled back, and you can see all my buns, um, because I've just literally shoved it up, I've not put it up properly, um, but yeah, I hope you're all well, I just thought I'd quickly fill you in on that, I'm gonna hope you're going to crack on and start and do some editing now. What's the time? It's eight o'clock. Well, 20 past eight, just had my dinner. And now I'm actually gonna finally start and sit down and get something edited because, like I said, honestly, it's been such a hectic day today. I didn't get ready until about 12. Because I've been doing emails and like bits and bobs in the morning. So by the time I was ready, it was like 12 1. By the time I sit down and film a video, it's like 3 o'clock. Then I had to rush out to the post office. That like, took me about an hour. Then I came home. Then I had to film my try on bits and do some more emails and then honestly before you know it like your day's gone anyway i'm gonna get off and yeah like i said do my bits and bobs but i shall catch you tomorrow i'll probably tune in tomorrow and i don't know show you what i'm doing i don't know if i'll be doing a lot but yeah bye bye oh it's freezing hey everyone so it is saturday morning i'm absolutely freezing i did think it was a little bit warmer than what it appears to be outside at the moment. I've literally got the most thinnest clothes on ever. No other idea, but I'm not gonna be outside for too long, so it so yeah, I'm just nipping out now. I think I'm gonna go for a coffee. Um I've just filmed two videos this morning and like I always think it's good to just have a little break and stop and get out because it is Saturday after all and I have well, I say I've been working all week. Monday I had a bit of a bum day. I did actually film, but then did all the footage and stuff. Um, Tuesday, did I do so yeah, I worked Tuesday, but I was out a bit as well. So I don't know, it's been a bit of a weird week. Like, I don't feel like it's been super, super productive every day. So that's why I'm sort of working the weekend as well. But mind you, I always sort of work the weekend anyway. Like, I'm just one of these workaholics. So anyway, 
we're gonna go i don't know if that's gonna stay there or not this could be a bit dangerous probably not the best idea i think i need to get one of them like things that wait i'm gonna just stop this right now i need to <laughs> what is going on i need to get one of these um car like things that stick on then i can actually drive and talk anyway i'm gonna go for a coffee and yeah hey everyone so welcome back to the vlog it is oh my god it feels like i feel so squashed in this coat it's sunday today and um i'm currently just shooting all of these outfits for my h&m haul i've got my boohoo outfits to shoot as well because today i filmed my haul videos so i sat and filmed two haul videos but then i wanted to get out and i was in a bit of a rush and stuff so i filmed them and i was like right today i would get up and just shoot all the outfits because i like to do try-ons obviously i always think there's not really a lot of point doing a haul unless you're going to do a try-on section with it because people want to know what it looks like on you know something can look like shit off the hanger and look a million times better when it's on you so yeah doing that now it's always such a long lengthy task though because i've been trying to get in the habit a little bit more of sort of styling the jumpers out well it's jumpers at the moment i've been doing but styling the garments a little bit more and doing a try on that way as opposed to just sort of whacking them on with anything and including that because that's what i used to do like it's so time consuming doing these videos that sometimes you like just want to try it on just for the sake of being like yeah i've done a try on bit so hormones um but then i just thought well sometimes i'm not oh sorry sorry if you just shake it sometimes i'm not necessarily trying them on with the things i would style them with and then it doesn't look right and whatever um i look really warm and snuggly right now i'm trying on this coat um, it just kind of fell like that. Um, you'll see it in my H&M haul. It's so big and I literally feel like the honey monster in it. But at the same time, like I know it's going to be so perfect for New York. Even though it looks, it's really big and it makes me feel like I'm so much bigger than I am. I feel like for New York this will be perfect because I'm literally sweating right now wearing this. And yeah, so <laughs> that's that. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. As soon as I've done this, which I'm hoping is not going to take me too long, I'm going to edit this vlog. I've not really been out of the house too much. I feel like I need to probably get into the hang of when I'm out of the house, i.e. in coffee shops, in restaurants, or walking down the street, or things like that, like vlogging more there. Because I feel like at the moment my vlogs are very just like me talking to the camera, which isn't a bad thing, I guess. But like I wanted to start doing a bit more, like when I'm out and about, like getting my camera out a bit more. Because I feel like at the moment I'm not really doing that, just because... Honestly, like, I feel like sometimes you get so put when you do get your camera out and people are like, oh, put your camera away, you can't film in here. So I need to just get past that and just do it until they do tell me to stop filming. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Busy day. I'm going to go to the cinema tonight, I think, and watch the new Star Wars film. Um, I actually don't mind Star Wars, like, surprisingly. Like, yeah, like, I've watched quite a few of them. I think I've watched near enough all of them, actually. I actually don't mind it. Um, so one of my guy friends um, asked me where to go, so we're going with him and his friend and his sister. So yeah, it should be a nice little evening. I'm gonna grab some food first at our favourite ever, like, what is it, Indian place? Like, it's so nice, like, oh my god, they do the best lamb biryani ever. Literally obsessed, could not find a better one. So yeah, it's from this really, really nice, like, little Indian place. And honestly, like, it's just very, like, family run and stuff. And it's very, like, traditional Indian food. Like, I feel like a lot of the Indian restaurants are so, like, westernised. Like, it's white people. <laughs> um, and, yeah, they're not always... Do you know what I mean? It's not, like, real properly, proper Indian food. Like, chicken tikka masala and stuff. Like, it's just creamy, isn't it? And just... I don't know, like... Don't get me wrong, I do like chicken tikka masala. But, I don't know, like, since I've been going to this other place, it's, like, proper Indian food. Like, the spices and the actual flavour of the food is so amazing. And now whenever I go to eat a chicken tikka masala, I'm a bit like, oh my god, it's so bland. Do you get what I mean? It's so strange. Anyway, I'm going to shut up talking about this Indian food, because um, I'm going to get hungry soon. Um, oh my god, my teeth look so white. I'm so happy with them, guys. Honestly, I can't even tell you how happy I am. Like, for anyone who's thinking about getting it done go for it like i know it's money i know not everyone can afford it but they do like interest free finance op options for up to two years i think so you know you could always check that out again as long as you can afford to pay the monthly repayments and stuff but 
it's honestly changed my confidence level, like me smiling and everything so much more. Like I just feel so much more confident since I've had these done. And I never used to smile and it's such a shame because don't get me wrong, I do love a good pout, but in general, like I want to be able to smile more in pictures because it's always the smiley pictures that I look back on and I think, oh, they're so cute. The pouty pictures are just like, do you know what I mean, say? So, I don't know, it's always good to smile, I think. So, yeah, gonna go. So, I really hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog, guys. Like, I would take you along with me this evening, but um, I really want to get this. I don't know if I will or not. But if I don't, I'm going to say goodbye now. But if I do, then I do. But anyway, I hope you're all good, and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.